I'd like to thank everybody for following along this year. So far, Outdoor X Media has been hitting it out of the park. Uh, we've, I don't know how many deer we've tagged, seven or eight deer altogether, uh, three uh, deer over 170, and it's not even the rut yet. So this is absolutely amazing. If you want to keep following along, hit that subscribe button and the bell and you'll get notified when new hunts drop. So we're going to have a lot coming to you really, really fast and uh, hope you enjoy it.
big eight with the split. I grunted with them with my true talker. Five minutes later, I look back and I see a, a little buck walking. I'm like, okay, look behind him, giant buck. I filmed him coming behind me. He's gonna pop out into this access road or this uh, this two track. And instead of coming straight out right where I had the camera, he angled away. And I stopped him and I smoked him. Absolutely smoked him. There he goes. I don't think I got it on the big camera because I had to like get on my knees on the stand. I had the tactic cam going, hopefully, hopefully it got it, but let's go. Well, it's been about a half hour. I'm, uh, I'm gonna start picking all my stuff up and uh, go see if I can't find any blood. I, uh, I'm pretty sure that he's toast. He stopped at like about 20 yards, broadside. Walked right into this ATV trail. And uh, gave me pretty much the perfect shot. The only downside was I had to, there's a branch on this tree out here. I had to squat down and I shot him off my knee. And uh, I mean, I, I feel like I 12 ringed him. Felt like a perfect shot right behind the shoulder. So, I am pretty darn confident that we were gonna find him at the end of a blood trail, so. I'm just gonna get all my stuff packed up, pack up my camera gear, and uh, lower my bow down and get out of here. We'll go. Uh, we'll go see what we can do. See what we can find for blood. All right. Well, now the joys of self-filming start. Just got down out of the tree. see this. This is an absolutely perfect spot. Big giant oak tree. And here's the those two tracks I was showing you. This is the one I access on right here. And about 30 yards down there is where I shot my buck last year. And there's a big ridge that goes this way over the hill to a pond. And then this is the one he popped out on right here. Let me spin this camera around and we'll see if we can't find blood. sure that this is the trail that he walked out on. So he followed that trail and I shot, I got an opening right through all these pin oaks to right here. And this is why he was coming here. Big huge mock scrape or actual scrape but uh Let's see what we can find. He was basically bleeding. Five feet after impact, there's blood everywhere.
I feel even better now than I did before. I knew I made a really good shot. I could tell that that arrow zipped right through him. Right behind the shoulder, right where you like it. But let's get on the blood and uh, follow it. And hopefully we have a good surprise at the end of this blood trail. Oh. blood sport blew right through him offside shoulder must have must have broke the arrow so get this in the quiver keep following the blood all right we're about 30 yards from impact and it's just blown out both sides I don't even have to look for it. I'm just walking. Just walking. And it's everywhere. There's another old road bed up here. And he's headed right for the old road bed. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely blown out everywhere. And it hasn't slowed down at all. I had sprayed three feet up on that. He cut over right here. Here we go. More blood. Blood, 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 blood. I see that big old fork G2 sticking out of the grass. Let's go lay our hands on this big old boy. Absolutely. There he is. Look at that. This is an ancient warrior right there. I got three years of pictures of this deer. Three years of pictures, and uh, I finally get to end the story on the grade eight. Now the work begins. Get my tag on him, and uh, run back to the truck and get the deer cart. All right, well after three years of hunting the buck I call the grade eight, I finally got a crack at him this morning. Uh, first hour and a half was pretty uneventful didn't see much saw one probably 130 inch three-year-old 
and uh, he was kind of down the hill, didn't think anything of it. it got to be about 8.15 and I said, you know what, I'm going to do a little bit of grunting. And uh, grunted three or four times, happened to look down the hill towards the same way, saw an antler, and I assumed it was the same buck. Grabbed the binos, looked, and it was this little six-pointer. I'm like, okay. And then I saw a tail flick behind him. And this guy was right there, right behind him. I, uh, I've had pictures of this deer for three years. I'm pretty sure he's six and a half this year. Just this old, giant, wide, southern Iowa buck. He, uh, he threw on this split. He never had it in the past. He just always had these big brows, big wide frame, and uh, I couldn't believe that he was he was coming in. When I first saw him, he was at, he was inside 50 yards. I was sitting in the exact same stand I was when I killed my uh, 177 last year. And this guy walked behind the stand, threw my wind, I was hoping he was going to walk in at like five yards right underneath the base of the tree, but he kind of angled on a different trail and he popped out at about 18 yards and uh, stopped and I let him have it. He ran maybe maybe 75 yards and he was piled up after a huge blood trail. So this is the earliest I've ever tagged out and I don't know what I'm going to do. I've always had to sit through the rut and grind and not this year.